Hey guys, it's me, Ryan Marquez, and today I am fishing off my kayak, the 2020 Old Town kayak. So thank you, Old Town, for hooking it up. I am fishing here in beautiful San Diego Bay, and today's concept is try to catch three spotted bay bass with three different techniques. That I feel that those three techniques are very effective here when fishing San Diego Bay, either from a kayak, a boat, or even from the shoreline. So I hope you enjoyed this particular video. Give me a thumbs up if you do. It lets me know that you like these particular videos. I personally like making these how-to videos because it, it teaches new fishermen to get out there and try to catch them spotted bay bass. So, all right, without further ado, let's go. The three techniques I'm gonna show you to in today's video are gonna be number one, a drop shot technique, number two, a swim bay or underspin, and then number three, a crankbait. So per technique, I'm gonna go ahead and try to catch a spotted bay bass, how to fish it, the techniques, the tips, rigging, everything that you need to know when fishing those three techniques. All right, let's go. I am parallel to the shoreline right here, and so I am fishing a drop off. It's probably five feet closer to the to the shoreline there and then it after i want to say 10 to 20 yards 30 yards to 40 yards it drops off like this and so i'm fishing at that drop off that shelf because there's going to be a lot of predator fish right here and there's going to be a lot of bait fish in the shallow so when the predator type fish like to start eating they start going up that shelf because that's where all the bait fish are so that's my technique. I'm gonna go try those three techniques on the shelf right here to try to catch three spotted bay bass. Big shout out to Ray for hooking it up with these first skin unique half fingered fishing gloves. To be honest, this is my first fishing gloves. You never see me wearing fishing gloves, but I really like it. Adds a little bit of compression, some warmth and some protection when fishing for, for some spotted bay bass or even some halibut. I'll even put a link in the description below and a little bit more information about this. All right guys, so first things first, how to rig a drop shot. So get your main line, get your size one straight worm mustad hook. And the most important thing about this is with the hook, you wanna face it up towards the main line. So it's coming from top to bottom. Feed about 20 inches or so, put it back to the bottom of the hook. And so you're making a big loop. Put that hook towards the end of that loop, put the hook through the loop, do a overhand knot, and then cinch it tight. And yes, this is a polymer knot. The last thing you have to do with the tag end is put it from the top to the bottom. And the reason why I do this is because it forces that hook upwards. So when you're fishing that drop shot, that hook is always facing up instead of facing down. Attach your one ounce torpedo weight six to 10 inches away from the weight and the hook. And that's it guys. All right, well, for my drop shot technique, I'm gonna go ahead and use this Speed Shad three inch from Bass Pro Shops. Hook that up and look at the swimming action of it. Perfect. Fishing this is pretty simple. You're just gonna go ahead and cast as far as you can. I'm gonna go ahead and fish parallel to this shoreline because I wanna fish that shelf. I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> a bait fish just jumped. I'm just gonna let it hit the floor and I know it hits the floor because there's slack in my line. Basically, I'm gonna, oh, oh, all right. So I'm gonna cast again, parallel to the shoreline. I'm just going to let that drop shot weight, that one ounce weight to hit the floor. And I know it hits the floor because there is no more line spooling off my reel. There's slack on my line. I'm gonna do a nice little slow retrieval rate until I find a bass willing to bite my lure. I'm always gonna keep my one ounce torpedo weight hitting the floor. Oh, there it is. Oh. There it is, guys. <laughs> this is gonna be my first fish of the day. Uh, it's not a big one to be honest, but hey, this is the first one of the day. Thanks, buddy, for letting me catch you. Basically, guys, just allow that drop shot to hit the floor, slow retriever rate, always having that torpedo weight hitting the floor, dragging along the floor, and that's gonna elicit a bite eventually. That one's just a little bit too small. I, I like, 
I like catching a little bit bigger spotted bay bass than that one. But I do appreciate, oh, there it is. Oh, I do appreciate getting bit. Oh, this one's probably a little bit bigger. Yes, it is a little bit bigger, which is awesome. There you go, guys. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and change techniques, but drop shot technique, move on to technique number two. Thanks for letting me catch you. Woo! All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and try a technique number two. Instead of using an underspin or a swim bait, I'm gonna use a crankbait. Fishing earlier with the crankbait is a little bit more wiser than using a swim bait because I feel like a swim bait is um, somewhat of an easier way to catching fish versus a crankbait. All right, so. I'm still going to do, what I'm going to do with this guy is I'm still going to be casting parallel to the shoreline and basically I'm going to allow that crankbait to sink down. You kind of have to play around with the depth of this crankbait. This guy is le uh, lipless so you can vary the depth. Oh, there it is. <laughs> First cast guys. Holy moly, that was awesome. Not a big one, but it still, still got bit. All right, thanks buddy. Tell you what I did. So basically, I'm gonna cast as far as I can, parallel to the shoreline again, because I'm fishing that shelf. A lipless technique. You're, you can let the crankbait sink down to the depth you want it. So if you want to fish it in lower depths, you're gonna let it sink down, obviously, longer, and then you're just gonna do a nice little crank. There's two ways of fishing a crankbait. This way, where you're casting out there, you're doing a nice little quick retrieval rate, just like this. And then there's another one where you're doing a little twitches. That's gonna have that crankbait come up and come down. Come up, come down, come up, come down. And that motion right there, oh, the spotted bay bass will like that. The one disadvantage for fishing the crankbait, just FYI, is knowing the depth you're fishing it. If you let it drop too low, you're gonna get caught on the rocks. And in, for instance, this particular case for myself, I was getting caught on eelgrass. All right, let's do one more cast with this one. If you're looking at this kayak right now, I don't have a fish finder here, so I don't know the depth. I'm really just doing a nice old school feel. Just all on intuition, on feel of the rod tip, in this trial and error. Oh, there it is! Oh, he came for it! Oh, that was sick! I saw him come from the grass! Oh, that was sick! Oh, that was awesome! Oh, buddy! I saw a flash of yellow. He came out of the grass. That was so sick! He bit like a calico. All these calicos back in um, fishing Sacramento Islands and even Coronado Islands, they come up close to the boat and they swipe at your lure. And this spotted bay bass did just that. Hey buddy, thanks for letting me catch you. So that one was off a custom crank, a lipless crank right here. So shout out Eric for, uh, again, hooking it up with this product. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch it up to a underspin swim bait combination. I'm gonna be using the same speed shad from Bass Pro Shops. And then I'm gonna be using a flagship half ounce underspin from Warbaits. So thanks Afran for hooking it up for this one. I put all the description of all the things I use in today's video in the de description below. Pretty, woo, that's gonna get bit. Whoa, you can actually see all the eelgrass because the sunlight's coming out. Look at this. Can you see the grass right there, guys? Let's see. Can you see that grass right there? Actually, I'll put my GoPro underwater and you can see it for yourself. All right, guys, so before I end off the video, catching that last spotted bay bass on the third technique. I just want to say thanks for all the support. It really means a lot to me. You know, I have numerous of people come up to me and just to say, hey, I caught my first spotted bay bass or I caught my first halibut watching your videos or I caught my first trout using a mini jig. And you know, because of watching my video or whatnot. And you know, that to me, means a lot like I love fishing don't get me wrong but I, I love teaching people how to fish that's to me that's what I think fishing's all about so I just wanted to take a break before I catch that that last spotted bay bass 
and say thank you guys. So that's all. So a little bit of this underspin, it is an effective way of catching spotted bay bass in my opinion, just because of that paddle of that swim bait, any, any swim bait you pick, it's gonna have that paddle action. And then this guy right here, this blade action is going to have a nice little flutter to it. It's a little shine to it. And so that's gonna draw some spotted bay bass from a certain distance away. That's gonna elicit a reaction type of bite because it sees that flashy blade fluttering in that water column when you're swimming that swim bait. Third technique, I wanted to come up to a different spot. I wanted to fish some structure here. And I think this swim bait underspin technique is very effective pitching to docks or structure like this one in front of me. Basically just gonna cast right next to the structure and then allow that swim bait or that underspin to fall down to the bottom of the water column. Current is actually pushing from ahead of me to towards me. So I'm fishing the structure at the back end. And in that case, I'm trying to draw some predator type fish that is potentially from the behind of the structure. Cause a lot of the times the bait fish are gonna get pushed up in this little current that the structures also provide. And this current looks so fishy though, you know? Oh, oh, here's one, here's one. Yes, it is one. There it is, guys. Oh, <laughs> I knew that there was gonna be predator type fish. Wow, that came out easily. Predator type fish right in this little current next to that structure. Just allow that swim bait, that underspin to get carried from that current, kind of bounce it off the ground. There you go. See ya, buddy. <laughs> there you go. First spotted bay bass on that underspin. Let's just catch one more spotted bay bass and then I'll, I'll call it a day. To be honest, guys, I've been switching from a drop shot technique to the crankbait. I've caught in more fish off camera than I have had on camera. Just having a fun day here on the San Diego Bay off my kayak and just picking off the bass with these three techniques. Let's try something here. Since the current is actually going into the structure, let's see if I can carry that swim bait and have that current bring that swim bait under that structure. Oh, without getting sucked in here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, there it is. Oh, it worked. It worked, guys. Oh, it's getting wrapped up. Pull him out, pull him out. I have to maneuver this. Oh my God, I am so stuck. Let's see if I can pull him out. There he is. Oh, he's a good big one, guys. He's a big one. Wow, that technique worked. Oh, this is the biggest one of the day. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> oh my God, that guy's huge. Oh my God. Oh, come here, baby. Oh, don't lose him now. Oh, this guy is huge. Wow. That <laughs> That worked. <laughs> I allowed that current to push that swim bait under, get carried under the structure. <laughs> and this guy swallowed it. Look at this guys. Oh, he's not bleeding. Yeah. Wow. It's 16 inches guys. And a girthy one at that too. Wow, I'm just gonna take a picture and just gonna go and let it go. Woo. To end off the day guys. All right, look at this beautiful, Spotted bay bass, look how healthy that fin is. Just a beautiful spotted bay bass. Buddy, I appreciate you. Thanks for letting me catch you. See ya. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. There you go, baby. Yes. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I really appreciate all the support. If you like this video, give me a comment below. Give me a thumbs up. 
and let me know what you want me to fish next. Maybe I fish for halibut. Maybe. <laughs> All right, guys. Until next time. See ya. I wonder how many waves I can get from this boat. I'm gonna wave. No waves. Thanks, guys.